people say they bring it back to their owner as like a gift, but I don't know how much I believe the science on that. Like, I wonder what the, I wonder if it is just that like that it like the true just like instinct to hunt from past you know like need. I feel like yeah. that's I feel like that's the case. Because I know people always say, oh, if a cat brings you a mouse, that means they're gonna. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I think maybe. Some... Composer, I've had one too many dead mice in my bed because of my cat. In so your she's bed? definitely not eating them. In your <laughs> yeah. bed? Yes, she has also put a live mouse in my bed because she hadn't killed it yet and wanted to keep playing with it. That's awesome. <laughs> that was the worst. Were you asleep when it happened? or? Yeah, I was asleep. So I suddenly feel a mouse in my hair and I'm like, Flipping out. I'm like, what the fuck is in my hair? That was uh, awful. It was awful. You just reminded me of that. <laughs> That's crazy. That so crazy. thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if it was a gift or if she was just playing with it. Honestly, you know, it might be that they bring the, the mouse to their owner. So they're like, oh, you'll throw me things and play with me. Use this dead thing to play with me. Right. That's I found that it's, it's just another thing. I mean, because it's a real thing, the instinct is just so much more heightened. Yeah, maybe. I also feel like it's a thing with certain cats that they see humans as like giant hairless babies. So what they're doing is they're hunting for you and here, mama's provided you food eat. Partake please. And then you just sat there like you do realize I, I you do realize I am the one that feeds you, right? <laughs> <laughs> they just want to share. <laughs> yeah. It's the thought that they counts, but sometimes food. you don't want but <laughs> they're like, I can finally provide for you. There's something I can hunt in the house. Yeah. 